We continue learning Archais Sadiqim with this fabulous Hachzik program. Beginning a new week, day number 27. We pick it up page 143 in the Treasure for Life edition. And we begin the Shar Shlishi, the third Shar, which is the Shar Habusha. Teaches Archais Sadiqim Amru Chachamim. Ha-Seichel Hua Boishas. Seichel, intellect, is shame. Va-Boishas Hua Seichel, and shame is intellect. They were both undressed and they were not ashamed. They didn't know the way of modesty to differentiate between good and bad until they ate for the Eitzadas. But then their eyes were opened up and at that point they became embarrassed. So to all living creatures, Zulati Adam, the exception of man, Animals have no busha. You don't find a, a dog walking around saying, Ay, hey, where's my clothing? Why? Because they don't have any chachma. They don't have any intellect. They don't have any wisdom. And all the wise of heart know the value of intellect and wisdom. Because the fact that we have a brain, a mind, wit, intellect, wisdom, it allows us to reach the truth of the matter. And we come to praise Hashem Baruch Hu. to serve Him by And we become comparable to Malachim. So Edar Chasadikim begins the Shara Abusha by explaining the intrinsic nature of Busha to the human being. And now our busha is, in, is in, in intimately connected to our seichel, to our mind. And we understand that chachma is incredible. Chachma is what differentiates us between men and beast. So it has to be, it has to be uh, similar to it. She midas busha. The midah of busha is almost as great. As amazing as it is for one to have intellect, wisdom, busha, shame has to be at the same level almost. How do I know the two are similar? The reason is, you don't find someone that's a baishan. You don't find someone that that uh, one who has shame doesn't uh, lack knowledge. And one who has knowledge doesn't lack shame. The two go together, of course. It's ro'i for a person to deal with this incredible midah and to become wise with it. Has to be sunk in his neshama, his soul, and has to be raised and become great on all his natural abilities. And it has to be more important than all other midas. Because through this midah of busha, and it's going to save us from all these terrible traits. Midas abusha, he got there, got there, got those an incredible fence of mechitzas a barzel and an iron wall. If they call averus for all the averus. Because people could transgress sins in privacy. That which he's embarrassed to do in front of people. And similarly, teach Chazal. Amr lehem, what Rav Yechlem and Zakai say to them famously, Yehira tain, it should be the will, Sheyehei, Meira Shamayim Aleichem, Kya Meira Basar Vedam. Amr loy, Ad Kan Vesu loy, That's what we should fear Hashem, just like we fear men. Amr lehem, says Rav Yechlem and Zakai, Halavai, As if we should fear God, at least that level. Teidu, says Rav Yechlem and Zakai, Shonu Meira Avera Aimer, what does he say? Sheyehei Nui Adam, don't you see me? Why? Because they're afraid to be brought to shame. And therefore, it'd be great not to do a virus, even if it's just that people won't embarrass it. 
Balishma. So Aruch HaSadikim begins this shahar by showing us how critically important Busha is, how it's intrinsically tied with Chachma, with Das. The man is the only one that has both Busha and Das. And through working on Busha, will be able to be matzil and saved from so many Averis.